for our two-minute drill. Joining me is George C. Annandale Capital founder and chairman of George. Let's just start right there. How are you interpreting things here? We got this, you know, 17 percent bounce off the lows, recovered more than half the, uh, the total losses. And a lot of the technical, you know, triggers have actually been activated that say that maybe a low is in. But how are you thinking about it? Yeah, hi, Mike. I, I think this is one of those kind of bets that you're better off just watching and getting out a bag of popcorn and enjoying the show. Because if, if you look at the substance of it, this should be a bear market rally and it heads back down again. There's just not enough substance to back it up. But at the same time, momentum's with the bulls right now. They just keep going up and the market wants to go higher. So that's not really a, a bet I, I would care to make myself. I just enjoy watching right now. Yeah, well, without a doubt, it could always, by definition, break either way. But it probably is reassuring, though, if you're in the market, that there is that level of skepticism out there that's reflected in our poll. Climbing a wall of worry. And, you know, I think people have been worried about the economy just falling apart. And I, I think that's been unrealistic. It's too strong. It's going to stay strong. But the problem is the growth rate. How fast are we going to grow going forward? And I think you can mm -hmm. make a very credible argument. We're in a stagflation environment. And the Fed and the government are declaring victory over inflation really quickly. And if you look at the price of natural gas today, I don't think inflation is over sure. by a long shot. Well, let's get to some of your picks because you are focused on individual stocks here. What about a play on natural gas? Yeah, I think natural gas is in a secular bull market. I think that the supply demand dynamics are very, very strong. And U.S. public producers are being very disciplined in, in putting increased supply on the market. They're really not. And with the LNG problem in Europe and around the rest of the world, too, I think you're going to see a closure between the price of gas overseas and the price of LNG and then Henry Hub. Here in the States, you're going to see Henry Hub price continue to be very strong. And probably as more LNG gets shipped overseas, LNG and gas in Europe and other parts mm -hmm. of the world come down somewhat. They're going to converge. The delta is just too big. And you like Intero? I like Intero a lot. They've got a 20 percent plus free, ca free cash flow yield, and they're completely unhedged uh, next year. They're paying down debt dramatically. They're buying back a lot of stock. It just the, the wind is at their back. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Give the, uh, the quick pitch for Qualcomm here at these levels. Qualcomm is a very hated technology stock. People just find reasons to loathe it and dislike it. Apple's been trying to get rid of it for years and can't seem to do it because their technology is better than anything Apple can come up with. It's trading at low double-digit price per earnings multiple currently, well below the market multiple, and they've been executing like just brilliantly. And they've got lots of new applications for their technology and, and they keep beating earning, earnings estimates and I think they're going to keep growing and you're buying a, a cheap stock with a high margin of safety and a lot of future prospects. It ought to trade over 200. You think it'll trade over 200? Stock is uh, roughly around 150 here. So uh, essentially you're saying uh, gets back above the 52 week highs for a, uh, a semi stock more on the value end of the spectrum. Uh, we'll see how that goes. George, appreciate the time today.